So this past uh, few days I've been working on, I had the uh, brass spacers that I bought because I wanted to put one in the hole that I had drilled for the lanyard. Uh, but before I could even get that tube in there, I had to sand that hole out so it was the correct diameter, diameter to uh, take that brass cylinder. That took quite a while and I finally got it, sanded it out and put that tube in there. And of course it was a little bit too long. So uh, I cut a piece off and then what I did was is sanded the edge where I'd cut it. I put it back in there and then I took it back out. I used that two part epoxy and that's where we're at right now. I put the two part epoxy in there. I put the brass tube back in and uh, it's gonna have to sit for a while till the it takes uh, it cures and then I'm gonna take a Dremel tool and sand lightly sand that brass tube off so it's more contoured to the shape of the handle and then the final project would be or part of this project will be to put the another coat of that oil on or two and then to get the uh, ferro rod epoxied in there so it's been taking me a couple of days because the sanding took was very very slow and then there was all the days that I put oil on, had to wait for it to dry. So that's what's been going on. So I'm on the home stretch here. It's the next day. The epoxy that I put in here to hold in the brass tubing dried. And then I got my little Dremel tool with a sander and sanded the brass edge there so it was more uh, contoured to the dip, the uh, shape of the handle same on that side and then I tried to rub a little bit of stain in there because the epoxy is actually a white color so I wanted, didn't want that white ring to show like that so I put a little walnut stain on it and uh, same for that side and as you can see now the ferro rod has been epoxied in I just did that a couple of minutes ago and there's the white ring that it leaves so that part I don't think I'll be bothered with it once it's dry it'll be fine but at this point it's almost totally complete just a few minor more a little bit more of that um, oil is gonna go on there until I, I buff it out to a really high shine and I get those cleaned up a little bit better and then it's uh, I gotta find a uh, piece of paracord to put in there for a lanyard but uh, she's almost done nice grip it's gonna be beautiful so we are in the final stages of this I think she looks great or he it could be a he I'm not sure <laughs> There it is. It is finished, except for a lanyard, which uh, I have to, uh, first of all, get some paracord, and second of all, learn how to make a lanyard. Uh, but there it is. She's done. It's all dried. Here's the uh, Homewood Blank. I had two of them, if you remember. There's another one right there. And what's what it looked like in the end. my uh, chunky monkey ferro rod. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go out and make your own now. Go on. Do it. <laughs>